Hello everyone. Hope your week is going well. I know you're probably gearing up, um, working through your projects. All the rough drafts that I saw so far um, were very, very good in terms of um, the quality improvement tools that you're creating and hopefully the amount of change that you're creating in your facilities as well. So um, that, that's what this whole process is all about, is, is making that difference. So um, I want to show you a tool that can help you with some of the visual appeal I've talked to you about it before. Um, I've kind of in input some of the information about Lucidchart, but I want to walk you through more of a tutorial about it. That way um, you can essentially access that information. So let's get started. So looking at uh, what I ended up doing, just going to Google search, search Lucidchart free, and you can see that up here in the search bar, and here's what populates. Um, you can essentially you can say you can start this free account here with the second link it says try Lucidchart or you can go to Lucidchart for education and I believe that this should give you um, student access as well so um, you can essentially sign up now um, and this is going to allow you to make flow charts fishbone diagrams concept maps um, all kinds of different uh, tools there and I'll kind of show you what some of those tools look like really really great resource for you I think if you have any desire to go into the QI side of our profession this is something to know if you have any desire to be in management or if you're currently in management this is a site to know um, so I, th I think that really great resources are found here so I have an account um, and what I'm gonna end up doing is just uh, I'm gonna click on the uh, documents here and I'll kind of show you how to make some uh, new documents. So um, you just essentially, once you, you're all signed up, you just click on your add documents. Um, and then uh, depending on what's here, you can kind of categorize different types of things. You can immediately jump to flowcharts, that type of thing. But uh, I'm just going to click standard and then also then all categories. And you can see essentially all of these are blank, uh, which blank you know blank diagrams are going to help essentially all the symbols are going to be loaded in the background but um, the page you see is essentially going to be blank itself uh, but you can see you know some classic diagrams Venn diagrams and you can see some tools there some interlocking circles and um, some of those connection points um, but really uh, the big ones you can see cause and effect uh, diagram so a fishbone diagram um, is demonstrated here so you just double click it so you can open up that document and kind of input your information there beyond so that's what I just did, clicked on to that. It's loading, it takes a little bit of time to load. Um, and essentially, there you go, there's your symbols. Um, and then if you ever said, all right, the, I, don't, I don't need that cause, you know, that's not one that's pertinent, get rid of it, you know, delete it. And then beyond that, you can then add more lines because and not everything is gonna be crystal clear with three lines, you know, for each, each category. So, you know, if you're doing that true brainstorm, you know, some may only have two and others may have eight, you know, and, and kind of making sure you're linking that. So it is considered a cause and effect so that the problem itself always has to be listed as um, some type of effect or what you're, you're trying to investigate itself. So yes, the, the, the problem kind of in and of itself would be reported there, but you can kind of see how it works. And um, essentially this is going to allow you to do different types of things. So you can be a little creative and you can fill it with different colors and you know, you can kind of map it out, you know, a little bit different. So they all look a little bit different, you know, plugging in your own respective, you know, major um, headings and then the sub points then beyond that. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, the other thing that I want to show you though, so I'm going to go back to the regular document screen and kind of go into a flow chart because a lot of you it seems are going to be making flow charts or are going to be making um, fishbone diagrams. I've seen some SWOT analysis um, which you know you can, you can definitely make within this tool as well so lots of applications there but I just clicked on the flow chart um, go into a blank diagram and it's just going to load up uh, truly a blank page and what you can do then is that you can see all the flow, flow chart symbols here. So I'm just moving my screen a little bit. Um, so here is what's phrased as a terminator. Really it's, it's the starting point and ending point for anything. So you can just kind of grab that starting point um, input. Uh, you know, I'll just call it starting point. Uh, whatever that starting um, point in your process would be, would be input there. And then kind of beyond that, so say we're going into a process step, a uh, really intuitive tool in that it now allows you to connect. All I'm doing is kind of dragging and connecting there. 
Um, and then you can put in here, you know, whatever that step one is for your given process and say that that now leads you to a decision point, a question, you know, a pathway for you to decide what to do next. So I'll just make up a random, just kind of putting that in there. It's, it's nice. It's a grid style. So, it, you know, you can get even intervals. You're going to get straight lines that way much more intuitive than uh, essentially what Microsoft Word is offering, which is really a true manual um, design. So I'll just say, is this, okay, there we go. And then off of it, then whenever you, the first arrow you click off of it is always gonna be your yes. And then subsequently you can in, input your next symbol and then you can um, then input your, your no and then it's gonna ask you for what's your next symbol, and then you can kind of go into there, and you can start building things very, very quick then, um, once you kind of break things down um, beyond, it all automatically is gonna put that yes, no in there, so really, really um, great tool. Uh, and, and it allows for some different types of lines too as well, so um, you can see that that's basically, um, right. all the lines are gonna be in right angles, if you're like, oh, well, I don't like right angles, you can edit the line type and you can make, you know, curvy line there. So you can kind of see what that what that's going to look like there. So uh, aesthetics are, are kind of half the battle of a flowchart. You know, flowchart is number one about process improvement. It's about uh, the, the flow in and of itself, making sure that all steps are addressed and covered and that when there's decision points, you're going and flowing in the right direction and nothing is missed. You know, it's a standard process. Um, but, you know, the other part is the visual appeal and making it as useful as, as possible. So when you're all done, all said and done, you say, all right, I really love that. You can then just uh, click file. You can hit download as. Um, I like to hit PNG with the transparent background. Uh, it's going to be a little bit larger of a file, but it should be a little bit more uh, detailed. Um, crop to content so that way it's not submitting the whole page it, but it's just cropping to where we have um, these shapes located here um, and then I, I always hit print quality as well click download um, and then beyond that we'll see what the file looks like once that downloads uh, the more shapes the more information you have the longer it's going to take to download but just kind of populating that looks like it downloaded. We'll see what it opens as. You can see, all right, there we go. We got a basic flow chart there. Um, you know, of course, you're going to have your, your ending point would definitely be needed in here as well. You know, you're going to have multiple process points. You may have multiple decision points. But, you know, in a nutshell, um, the, the intention behind this tutorial is really to show you how much time Lucidchart would be able to save you and then how clean the uh, graphic is going to look um, kind of on, on the back side of things. So when I evaluate it, it's going to look absolutely awesome. I'm going to be like, oh, my gosh, you are a flowchart savant and you know exactly what you're doing. So. Hopefully, um, you know, tutorials help, you know, dig around. There, there are several types of um, tools. I just looked at cause and effect and flowcharts, but there are several in here that can definitely help you out. So look forward to seeing how you guys um, shape your QI tools. Um, you do not have to have a flowchart or a fishbone diagram if you want to use one of the other tools, histograms, Pareto charts. Um, that's more than okay if you use series of tools and see how they work together. That's going to be even better to kind of show you, show me um, kind of how everything is kind of working together and how um, in depth you're actually thinking about your um, process improvement projects. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. More than happy to answer those questions and best of luck. Thanks.